playing shorthanded, how do you feel like you guys play considering the numbers were low? I think we played I think we played solid in a way. We had we had spurts where we were fighting and competing, but it was a lot of fouls. I never visited the free throw line or been not me visiting the free throw line, but me being around or just visiting that area so many times in the game. <clears throat> I think that's what really got us. If it was a straight up game and a fair game, us getting shooting fouls and not on the ground fouls would have been it would have been it would have been a big game to where you know, they would have they would have felt some pressure. But I just think the fouls really changed the game. The rest the rest won the game for them guys to me. I saw at one point where you grabbed your head after one foul. Yeah, it was just too much. That was just too many fouls. Like it was ticky fouls off the dribble. It was, we wasn't competing. If, that, if that's a if that's the number one team, we came to compete. But we couldn't compete. I couldn't compete. I couldn't even get a sweat. You know, so it was just it was just it was tragic. It, was, it, was, it wasn't good. The rest the rest played that game. I didn't like it. What do you think about Javon, how he came in? And Javon stepped it up. He, he stepped it up on how we supposed to play and not the, the aggression we supposed to have every game. So, what do you think of just the battle with Giannis? I know you mentioned what you I mentioned. Love, but I love that battle, but the refs is involved. I tell you, only the refs can stop me in this league, offense and defense. You know, it don't make a sense if you have the MVP and you know a guy can compete. We played one on one. You know? Yeah. It was one on one last year to where I was guarding him and got everybody steal out. You know, it was just it was just the fouls really like changed up our defense. And you know, it was just the refs really messed up for us. I'm putting it on him. There was too many fouls, too many points at the line. We couldn't compete. It was, you know, it was just just that yeah, we're supposed to learn how to compete. If that's the best team we came to compete. We flew all the way to compete, not to be in foul trouble. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to ease up a little bit on the whistle. What matchups with uh, Giannis and. And uh, OKC, Steven Adams. And, Steven and Adams and Giannis is two different people. Yeah. That's two different players. Right. And one is MVP. I mean, Giannis, you, gotta be the, you have to be the first dude back on defense to protect their arm. Um, he's a great passer. You know, he gets everybody involved because he knows the type of pressure he puts on the rim. Um, with Steven, I think Steven, you just you just have to stay on your ground, really, because he's so strong and he takes up so much space. You know, you really have to know what he's doing, and he's very smart on defense. So, I mean, those guys, Giannis is quick in transition. You know, you just have to talk. But the way what I take is how these dudes put their head down and attack the rim, and that's how they were open up for threes. The Bucks open up a lot of threes because Giannis, you know, Putting in foul trigger, stuff like that. So that's what I learned. How much did those threes hurt at the end of the third? Thing? To be honest, uh, I mean, I think all of them threes hurt. Because oh, they made 15 threes. Yeah, they made, they made some threes, but the only way the threes let up is because the early fouls in the game, ticky fouls. I'm talking about fouls after the ball is already through the hoop. So it looks like it just messes up the whole game. It messes with the game. And, you know, you don't get the best out your players the way you want and that aggression and that physicality. Because, you know, in the back of our head, oh, we got one or two fouls that the ref might call a foul by even turned up a notch on him. So I just don't like how these refs call the game today. I didn't like it. You know, like it. I'm putting it on them. The way that you guys are down so many players, <laughs> um, when you see even guys like Tariq get, you know, he just got here and he, he's playing in the, in yeah. the second quarter. Just I like that. I like that. You know, it's just about time we see those dudes got to. And, you know, it's a good feeling, but you know, I just hope we were just, like, really in the game with the Bucks today to, you know, really, like, put some pressure on those guys. Like, you know, how the OKC game was, even though we were down, we still fought back. You know, give us a chance to fight back. Man. You call them fouls with 10 seconds left in the game. Not even in the game. 10 seconds left in the, uh, I think in the first quarter they called on me. With 10 seconds left. I'm like, wow. So it was just, the league don't do that. We don't do that. Shot clock's off, we playing man to man. We playing some hard nosed basketball. I didn't like it. I was trying to talk. Messes, messes with the game. You're not going to get the full competitive, you know what I'm saying? It's underdog sons against the Bucks. You're not going to get that. If, it's, if the rest is messing with the game like that. A lot of free throws tonight. I didn't like it. A lot of free throws. Too many free throws.